head start when school reopens next year requires you to utilize your holiday well. With this in mind, we have planned a holiday program for all of you. This holiday program would take only a portion of your holiday, leaving you still a lot of time to relax and enjoy quality time with your family and friends. The program will prevent you from having a mind as empty as the white screen in the picture during your Malay Paper 1 O-Level examinations. It will help fill your mind up with ideas of themes and story plot that you can consider when answering the questions. You will save time when thinking of ideas, leaving you with more time to check on your work. A good team addresses an issue or problem that the community faces. Essays with good teams will help you get band 1 marks. A band 1 marks range from 76 to 100%. This book will provide you with all the themes and story plots. Choose five themes each for narrative and descriptive essays. Read the essays a few times if needed so that you are familiar with the story plots and can verbalize them confidently without referring to the book. The first step after reading the essays is to write down notes. I encourage you to write these notes onto your phones so that you have access to them anytime. You can also add notes of new themes and story plots that you learn from time to time. This is how your notes should look like. The brief describes the story plot in just three lines, where the first line states the historical context, the second what happens now and the last line on what will happen in the future now of course you can write more than three lines and write them in english ultimately work with what you are comfortable and understand easily the vocabulary captures verbs and nouns used in the story plot and connect with the theme you can add as many vocabularies as you like as you work on building your vocabulary base Likewise with the notes on descriptive essays. You notice that I have also included adjective in my vocabulary list as it would be good to use adjective that gives a vivid description when writing descriptive essays. After writing your notes, the second step teaches you to adapt your story plot to the requirements of a new question. Just as in the picture, a snail is by nature slow, and if its new environment requires it to move quickly, it needs to grow limbs like a cheetah. This is adaptation. This is the list of new narrative questions. Select appropriate themes that you have worked on for these questions. You will notice that there are questions that do not work well with your themes. This could be because you have themes that are close or related to each other. For example, when you choose Bully Siba and Penipuan Dalam Talian. While they are different themes, they are still similar. You can choose them of course, but make sure you have other themes that are not related, so that this theme can be used for a lot of new narrative questions. an example how we adapt the story plot of the team Masala Cinta Digital to this new question. You notice the changes in the story plot. Likewise, this is the list of new descriptive questions. an example how we adapt the story plot of the team mengabaikan ibu bapa lanjut usia
As we all know, practice makes perfect. You will show us your notes when school reopens and we will start our lesson next year with an exercise for you to adapt the story plots of your teams based on a new list of narrative and descriptive questions. With that, all the best and good luck.